let's take a look at what I found in the river this morning. I went out with my net and I collected all of this gunk and there were little bugs inside of it. The first one we're going to show you a close-up of is a mayfly. Remember they have three tails and they have little gills on the side how they breathe. Next one will be a stonefly. It has two tails and they're pretty much bigger than the mayflies. The one you're going to get a close-up of is a yellow stone and there's quite a few of them. You'll see they're very vigorous and they move around a lot. Most of their gills are on their abdomen. And then the third one you're going to see is a water penny. And I don't see them very often. They're a tiny little round black creature that zigs around, very active. And they're related to skippers and, and the beetles. And then the fourth one you're going to see is the uh, caddis fly. This happens to be the fall caddis and it makes a case for itself out of little tiny pieces of rock, grains of sand, glues them together and then filters out diatoms and microscopic things for its dinner. There's another kind of caddis that takes pine needles and little bits of debris like this and makes its case. Often they're called a periwinkle. And that's about it for the bugs. The next thing is how do I find the bugs? I got them in here of course, but um, I have my waders on. You might have noticed I go out in the water where there's no salmon spawning and I take this very fine net. I get the net downstream in the current and I kick over the rocks because that's where the bugs are hiding. In the rocks and the leaves and I scoop them up and I bring them over and I put them in the net in the tub for you to look at. And that's all there is about mac macroinvertebrates right now.